In today's video, I am going to explain a problem from functions of complex variables. See here, the function f of z is equal to u plus iv is equal to 1 by z. Then show that the curves u is equal to c1 and v is equal to c2 intersect orthogonally. See for this, as you know that given u plus iv is equal to 1 by z. So, what is z here? So, z is nothing but x plus iy. So, 1 by z is equal to, so 1 by z is nothing but 1 by x plus iy. So, I will multiply with 1 x minus iy divided by x minus iy. So, 1 by z is equal to, this will be x minus iy by a square so, this is x square minus b square. So, this is i square will be plus. So, this will be since i square is equal to 1. This will be x square plus y square. So, 1 by z is equal to if I take the real part that is x by x square plus y square plus i times of this is the imaginary part. y times of this is x square plus y square. Now, see here u plus iv is equal to 1 by z so this is the real part and this is the imaginary part and this is nothing but f of z so what is u here so u is nothing but x by this is x square plus y square and v is equal to this is y by x square plus y square see what is given here u x comma y is given as c1 and v x comma y is given as c2 so, u x comma y is nothing but c1. c1 is equal to, c1 is equal to, this is x by x square plus y square and c2 and v is nothing but c2 is equal to minus y by, this is x square plus y square. So, we have to show that, see here, in this we have to show that the curves u is equal to c1 and v is equal to c2 intersect orthogonally. If they intersect orthogonally, then the product of the slopes m1 into m2 should be equal to minus 1. So, let us calculate the slopes. For calculating the slopes, see first we have to make a derivative with respect to x. For constant, this is 0 and this is uv rule. So, for the uv rule, this will be x square plus y square whole square v square and this is v for one time. And for x it is 1 minus, I am leaving x here and making a derivative that is 2x and for y this is 2y into dy by dx. Got it? So if I send this to 0, 0 into anything is 0 and this will be x square plus y square minus x times of this is 2x, 2y into dy by dx is equal to 0. And see, if I multiply, this will be x square plus y square. And if I send x inside, this will be 2x square plus 2xy into dy by dx. Into dy by dy by dx is equal to 0. Now, so if I send this to other side, then see what happens here. See here, this will be x square plus y square if I multiply with minus this is minus 2x square this is minus 2xy into dy by dx is equal to 0. So as you can see here this is plus x square and this is minus 2x square so this can be written as so this is y square minus x square if I send to other side this will be 2xy into dy by dx is equal to 0. So dy by dx is nothing but the slope. So the slope will be dy by dx is equal to, now dy by dx is equal to, this is y square minus x square by 2xy. So here, if we take at a point uh, x0, y0 at a point, the slope of the tangent, see here, the slope of the tangent to curve at point, x0 y0 will be see here this is the slope m1 dy by dx at point x0 y0 is equal to in place of y we have to keep y0 and in place of x we have to keep 
x naught this is x naught and this is y naught and this is equation number one therefore we got m1 as the slope m1 we got as y naught square minus x naught square by 2 x naught y naught and this is equation number one see here we have an another curve here that is v is equal to so in place of v i wrote c2 see now c2 is equal to c2 is equal to this is minus y by minus y by this is x square plus y square so c1 i made a uh, derivative with respect to x and i found the slope m1 and with this i have to make a derivative and make the slope and i have to find out the slope here so this is the curve c2 now if i differentiate with respect to x then this is constant 0 and this is uv rule see here this is v square x square plus y square whole square and this is x square plus y square v for one time and for y this will be minus dy by dx minus and i have to leave this one so this will be plus and see here i have to make a derivative for this that is 2x and this is 2y into dy by dx and see here if i send if i multiply with 0 so this will be 0 is equal to if i multiply then see this is minus x square minus y square into dy by dx plus this is 2xy this is 2y square into dy by dx now if i take dy by dx common then see what happens this is minus x square minus y square plus 2y square into dy by dx plus so this value is nothing but 2xy this is 2xy so here if you observe this is plus 2 and this is minus 1 so this will be so this will be 0 is equal to this is minus x square plus y square into dy by dx plus this is 2xy so here dy by dx is equal to so y square minus x square into dy by dx is equal to this is minus 2xy See dy by dx is nothing but dy by dx is nothing but this is minus 2xy by y square minus x square. See this is our slope m1 therefore the slope of the tangent to the curve slope of the tangent to curve at point x0 y0 is this is m2 is equal to dy by dx at point this is x0 y0 which is equal to minus 2 x0 y0 by this is y0 square minus x0 square therefore we got the slope value m2 value as see here we got our m2 value as this is m2 is equal to minus 2 x0 y0 by this is y2 square minus x naught square so this is our equation 2 now from the question what is given here we have to show that the curves cut or intersect orthogonally so we have to prove that they cut orthogonally hence we have to find the product of these so for finding the product this is m1 into m2 so m1 into m2 what is m1 here m1 is nothing but y naught square minus x naught square by 2 x naught y naught into so this value is nothing but minus 2 x naught y naught by this is y naught square minus x naught square so i can cancel this one and this one for minus one times so m1 m2 is equal to therefore the slopes product of the slopes is equal to minus one when we say that the product of the slopes is minus one so the two families are said to be orthogonally orthogonal trajectories to one another therefore the two families so the two families are said to be be the orthogonal trajectories orthogonal trajectories of one another or each other so this is what we have to show that see first of all what is given 
So f of z is given as 1 by z and we need to show that the curves u is equal to c1 and v is equal to c2 intersect orthogonally. So as you know that 1 by z is nothing but u plus iv, z is equal to, we know that x plus iv, 1 by z will become 1 by x plus iv. So if I multiply that x minus iv in the numerator and denominator, so this will become x minus iv by x square plus i square. So this is u and this is v. So we got the two families that is u and v. So u is nothing but c1 from the question and u v is nothing but c2 from the question. So first one if u is equal to x, x by x square plus y square if you derive with respect to x and find out this row. So c1 will be 0 and this is of uv rule. So I made all the calculation and found out this one slope. Slope at a point x1 x naught y naught will is x y naught square minus x naught square by 2 x naught y naught and again I took the second curve c2 and I differentiate with respect to x and found the slope that is d by dx is equal to minus 2xy by y square minus x square at point x naught y naught this will be the answer so this is our slope uh, this is our slope so, if I make a product that is m1 into m2, so I got minus 1. Then we say that the two curves are said to be orthogonal to each other or one another. Thank you so much and I will be posting many more videos relating to this series. Please have a look at those. Please pass it on to your friends if you really like and subscribe to this channel.